Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm telling you, I tried to do this message three times already. So that means this message is meant for somebody. Because every time I start the message, then something happens. Like I started recording, a truck pulls up. It starts slamming doors and all this stuff. So I know this is meant for somebody, so I'm going to go for it. This morning, I was out for a walk, had a good you know, text conversation with a, a good friend of mine um, this morning. And it just triggered a thought, right? Sometimes it feels like the outside world is stripping you of your passion, right? Whether they make you feel like, oh, what you've expressed is not valid enough, right? Oh, it's not important enough for them. It's not, it's to them, oh, you, you ain't going to go nowhere with that or whatever the case may be. Or it's not going to do enough for us, whatever it is. Whatever it is, the outside world may attempt to strip you of your passion, Right? And you'll second guess it and then you'll walk away from it. You'll walk away from it. And you'll start realizing that certain things are being stripped away that you love. Right? The outside world will do that to you. Almost to the point where you feel like you have nothing. Nothing. And then you get caught in the inside. You start doing a lot of thinking, a lot of internalizing. And then you realize you're almost like it's weird. It's like you're in a place of seclusion. Right? Where now all you do is think. Now all you feel like, oh, I don't have nothing. I ain't doing nothing. But then you really start to reflect. And you realize that that place, right, that, that, that place of what may seem like seclusion is where you're going to realize that that passion really is. You're going to realize that that passion is important to you. Because the outside world told you it's not. The outside world told you, you know, it ain't worth nothing. It ain't going to do nothing for you. The outside world told you everything. You second guessed it, you walked away from it, and in those places when you're just thinking all the time, you'll realize how important that passion is. That that place will take you right back to that, to the essence. To the essence. Everybody told you no. Everybody told you it isn't worth it. Everybody told you what you're doing. You're wasting your time. And then all of a sudden, when you're sitting there by yourself thinking and you're caught in your feelings and you're just going over it in your head, something's gonna click that. You know what? That passion is for you. That thing was for you. It may not be for them, but it's for you. And that's what matters. You know what I'm saying? That's what matters. Nothing else matters. As long as it's for you, nothing else matters. Now, if, if it's something that's going to push you in the wrong direction and, and people can see before you that, you know, hey, listen, don't do that. That's no good. It's going to hurt you. Then that's okay. But if you feel like people are just disregarding your passions and people are just like, oh, it's not important to them, it has to be important to you. It has to be important to you. Maybe it was put on your spirit because it's something you're supposed to carry out. Think about that. You're supposed to help others. You're supposed to do something with this. God wants you to do something with that passion. That's why it keeps reoccurring. That's why it doesn't go away. That's why it always is in the forefront of your mind. That's because that's something that God gave you. God gave you that thing. And you're supposed to carry it out. And I'm going to say this in the, the best way possible. Forget what other people say. If they don't understand, you can't make them understand beyond their level of comprehension. You can't. You can't. So don't kill yourself trying to make them understand. That passion is your passion for a reason. They might have a different passion. That's on them. Support them. Wish them well. You know, lift them up. But if they're tearing you down and your passion, you need to correct that thing. Or you need to put on some blinders and just say, hey, I'm sorry. I love you, but... I ain't got, you know, I ain't got no time for you and trying to put me down. I got a mission I need to accomplish because you're going to be accountable for your mission at the end of all of this. So understand, just think, think about it. Sometimes the outside world might try to strip you of that passion and sometimes you'll step back. But then think about it and get back to that essence. And that's going to be where you'll find it again. All right, I'm going to leave it right there. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Have a great day. I'm sweating in this garage because I turned the fan off. And it's still hot. So I love you guys. God bless you guys. Don't forget to look out for one another. Take care of one another. Lift one another up. Inspire one another. And uh, share this thing. Okay? I love you guys. God bless. Have a great day.